What is up guys, Mothership here. This is part 3 of my PC build, which in this little segment video thing will be about my hard drive, my hard drives, my SSDs, and I believe my optical drive? Maybe? Uh, I don't know, let's just jump into the video and let's see if I'm actually right, so bye bye! Right, next thing is next is the hard drives. This case and obviously all the other cases are down to whatever you have in your case. Uh, my old computer was, you had to mount them in and then screw little things on the side to get them all steady. And then this one, it just has these little trays where it's got the fittings on the side, the fittings on the bottom so you can fit them however you want. And then they're literally just a slot in there. And they're secure because they clips on the side. Oops. So yeah. And one of the other things is that the hard drive is pretty easy to install anywhere. It's literally just getting one wire plugging it in, getting the other wire plugging it in the motherboard. So just to get the hard drives out of the way, we just install them now, as well as the SSDs. And then, yeah, we are good from there. The only quarrel I have with them is that the hard drive that I bought, which wasn't that one, that's my old PC, I got them from Amazon, and they're the Seagate uh, Barracuda, I believe, and you don't get any power supply with it, which ignore that bit. <laughs> because uh, the power supplies are on there but you don't get a SATA cable with it like do you know the thing that transfers data, the actual cable onto this you don't get it with it which that I then had to order more of and then wait for them which was just stupid like I had to wait an extra like week nearly just to get more cables when they should have already came with it but yeah that's enough of that for now uh, how I'm going to do it, it's got a little bit of metal in there, so you've got 5 and 5, so as you can see you can fit 10 hard drives in all together, but well hard drives and SSDs, along with the you get brackets for the optical drives, which you can't really see, but uh, yeah, if these are mounted in the front, remember that the little handle thing is on the front, so make sure you put the dead side compared to where you've actually got cables and places to put wires. So then we just want to sit in there, nice and snug, and then rather you can put the little screws on the side, or there's a couple of little screws in the bottom, but I'm just going to fit them in the side, so, yeah, and if I screws first, which I did have some. These ones will do. Two for one side, two for the other. And then when you, I'll show you a close up of that. You've got part there, thing in the middle, well, a screwdriver thing in the middle and a screwdriver on the top. Or at the front, centre, back, which you can. Just do one in the centre, which actually I'm going to do. Just do one in the centre. So, right. So when you've actually found screws that fit, make sure same again. The bits at the back there. Put it in with your hand, finger thing. Find the bite. As soon as you found it. Same again. You don't want to put these in too tight. As soon as it gives you a little bit of, uh, like. Resistance, yep, I think that's the word for it. As soon as it gives you a bit of resistance, just leave it as that. There we go. And then, that's pretty much hard drive done.
So now you've got your SSDs, which if I open one up, you've got another little sticker on it. Just throw that into the little collection. Then you actually have the SSD itself, which if you lift this up, you've got the bracket in there for mounting on each side. You also get little screws for it as well, which sucks because you don't get a SATA cable with it once again. So same idea that I have to buy one. And then if since it's got them on the bottom, you should just be able to put them in and line them up. Which yes you can. So I'm going to need four of the cables, I mean four of uh, the screws which are already supplied. Make sure them are to the back, depending on however you have them. And pretty much the last thing for the initial little setups or whatever is the optical drive, which I'm going to put mine in the top one. I'll spin the giant case round. See, I've already got a hole for it, which can cover up, but then there's another little gap left there. So you can pick and choose wherever you want to put it, but I'm just going to put mine as it's intended to, which it should just slide straight in, but since my case is a beast, it's got, I can't really see that too well, but it's got them little clips, which one size it says open, one size it says close, which I want there, I think, yeah, then that will lift up, and allow stuff to come in. And stuff, I mean the optical drive. Make sure you install it the right way because I did just have it upside down and it'll still go in. So I'll slide in and give it a little wiggle because there might be some stuff in the way, like wires. So Oh, this all the way around. Don't know if you can really see any of that. No, you can't. It's out the way. But there's just some wires coming from the top. So if anything is ever stopping you, it'll probably be just some daft. And then when it's pushed in, all the way, should be able to see little bars, which will hold it in place. And now it's locked. And it's also not on a front angle, as in the case itself. So it's all flush in there.
which that's not going anywhere. And all you have to do is plug all the stuff in when you actually get round to installing the motherboard into the actual case itself. So now all that's done, all they do is focus on the mother. Ugh. Excuse me. Now the optical drive, the I'll pick this up for this anyway. Now the optical drive, which is there, the two solid state drives. There's a little bar for the centerpiece. The three hard drives, which I've got the one terabyte and then two two terabyte ones. And then I've also got the power supply installed, which is pretty much everything. Well, one of the cool things about this case is you've got like USB on the top. And I don't know if it makes out much, but you've got your side fan, top fan, and your front fan. And these are different speeds, what you can have set, which in here so you've got this little bracket is there any there you can make this one out a little bit more which you've got loads of little spare fan spaces on there this one's the power from the front to there like them little twisty things and on them they are labeled maybe you can make that out but that says top and then it says fan around there this one is front fan and then this one is a side fan, but you can't make that out too much. So yeah, that's one of the awesome things about this gigantic case. That you get awesome stuff like that in it. So yeah. Move on to all the components now. And, you know, have some fun. Thank you and I love you for watching the video. Uh, if you did like it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up button down below. And don't forget to subscribe because I will have a playlist coming out with like the rest of the videos on and you'll just be able to watch like all of them and watch my progress of me building my PC and then me actually turn it on. So thanks for watching. Uh, once again I love you and I will see you later. Bye!